He who has begun a good work in us will bring it to a completion. It is God who has begun with you. And the same God will end with you. The Bible says that he went before the Israelites. And by going before the Israelites, he brought them unto their promised land. And so the Lord will lead us unto our promised land. We are marching to Zion, a beautiful city of God. One day, one day, we will see our Jesus. A song that goes soon and very soon. We will all see, we will see our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our saints and griefs to bear what a privilege to carry uh, everything to god in prayer oh what peace we often fall our feet and oh what needless pain we bear Ah, because we do not carry uh, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall of it. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall on feet. And oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry uh, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall of it. And oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry Oh, uh, everything to God in prayer. Father, we want to thank you once again for bringing us before your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love. Thank you for laying your life down for us. We thank you for making us see another day. It is not by our might, it is not by power, but by your grace. The psalmist says, as if we paid something, it was given to us freely. We bless you and we give you all the praise. Father, we pray that you come and speak to us. Minister to us, come and talk to us, correct us, rebuke us, strengthen us, encourage us, and lead us to your throne. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The wicked shall fall. Hallelujah. The wicked shall fall. Part three. The wicked. And we have been talking about a wicked heart. And somebody who heart is filled with evil. And what can they can do? I pray that we will allow ourselves to be filled with the Holy Ghost. A brother, my sister. God has something for your life. Again, God has something for your life. He wants to bless you. He is taking you to a place that he has prepared for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus says he's going to prepare a place. The Bible started saying, in my father's house, there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place and I'll come back. He is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Whether you believe it or not, whether your religion believe it or not, 
Jesus is coming back. The word of God says, he said, he, I am not a man that I should lie. Have I said it and will I not do it? My brother, my sister, just stand outside and look into the sky. Look around your environment and look at nature and ask yourself a question. Have you seen any man that can change the course of, of the stars? I have never seen any man. Uh, have you seen any woman that can say, I have power? And all that I am saying, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in anything that can say, I am, I want, I am so powerful that I will change the orbit or the motion of the moon or, or the sun. I have never seen anybody who has that power to say that I am going to stop darkness <laughs> night and day. The Bible says in the beginning, the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the earth. And God said, let there be. And from the, the time that God set things in place, nobody has ever changed it. And the same God says, I am coming and I have my reward in my hands. I will give to everybody according to his works. Our works, the works that we do. <laughs> Corinthians says that everyone will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and we all will give accounts. Yes, still you don't believe it. There are some people who have heard the word of God. Yes, still they live a double mind. They live in a dilemma. They don't know where to go. My brother, my sister, Jesus is coming. He is coming. The word of God. Never lie and will never lie. And so he said, I am not a man that I should lie. And so everything is true. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me, by Jesus Christ. It's the only way. My brother, my sister, sit down and consider. Consider your ways. Consider, examine yourself whether you are in the faith. Jesus said, many are called, but few are chosen. Because few are are ready to live a godly life. But whether you believe it or not, whether you live a godly life or you not live it, a day will come. A day of accountability will come. A day that you stand before the judgment seat and that you have nothing to do. As the Bible says, it is appointed unto man once to die and after death there is judgment. I have never seen any man who is so rich and powerful that death will knock at his or her door and say, I will not go. I have power over you. Everybody, when your time comes, you, you don't have even strength. You don't have the mouth. <laughs> the word of God is true. Go and read Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27. Say, it is appointed unto man once to die. And after death, there is judgment. We, be, we do believe in death, that everybody will die. But we don't believe in the judgment that is coming. A judgment is coming. A day is coming. A day of the Lord is coming. Are you prepared? Ask yourself. A child of God. Woman, are you prepared? Are you prepared to meet the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? He is coming. Isaiah said, come. And let's reason together. Jesus is calling us. He came for his own. And the Bible says his own receive him not. But as many that receive them, receive him. He gave them power to become the children of God. He said, come, 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 and let's reason together. <laughs> Say, yes, the Lord, do your sins as scarlet, <laughs> they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Jesus is calling. He said, if you are willing and you be obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. A child of God, listen to me, woman, listen, there is good in the land. There is good in the Lord. You, you have salvation for your soul. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He reigns. The Bible says that the law was given by Moses, but truth and grace came through the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one. Have you accepted him? Or do you know him? Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Would you already be? And yes, I would you this answer. But you have to do his will. Second Timothy 3 and verse 5, that there are many people who have a form of godliness, 
When you see them, you know that they are Christians. There are many in the church. There are many everywhere. But it is not holding the Bible. It is not, not pretending that you are Christian. It is the, doing the will of God. The Bible says the world and it last is passing away. But then they do the will of God. They shall abide forever. They will abide forever. Jesus is coming. I started talking about the wicked. The end of the wicked. The end of the wicked. Psalm 27. Psalm 27. And the verse 2. Let me, let's hear the word of God. He says that when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, when they come up upon me to eat my flesh, they shall stumble and they will fall. There is an end for a wicked man, a wicked woman, forever a wicked soul. God has prepared an end for them. <laughs> Though a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though the war shall rise against against me, in this will I be confident. One thing I have desired. This was David who was talking. David said, one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Jesus is coming. My brother, my sister, everything, everything that you see on this earth will pass away. We will leave everything Job concluded that naked we came and naked we will go. We will go naked. I am not saying it is no good to build an inheritance. It is very good to build an inheritance. But listen to me, a child of God. God bless you. <laughs> Great man of God. Uh, so for prophet Manuel Seco. God bless you, Papa. <laughs> Jesus said it is good to build an inheritance. But as a true child of God, Everything that you do, you have to make money legally. You have to work with your hands and receive the blessings of God. Everything done contrary to the word of God is sin. And at the, the end thereof is death. The Bible said there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end is death. The end of anything that is not of God is death. Yesterday we started talking about a wicked man that rose also in the Bible in the days of Mordecai and Esther. And today we will continue. But I want to talk about five indica indicators or indication of a wicked man, a wicked woman. Somebody whose heart <laughs> is wicked. Wicked. They don't have any <laughs> mercy. They don't consider. All they think about is that they will destroy. The wicked will fall. They shall fall. <laughs> Whatever they do they will, they will surely come to an end. May the Lord give you strength. May the Lord empower you that you live in this end time. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and the verse 8. He that dig a pit, whoever dig a pit shall fall in. And so whatever the enemy is doing concerning your life, just stay in the Lord. My brother, there is a promise for, for the righteous. There is a promise for the righteous. Go into the Bible. The Bible says no weapon formed against thee. It is about the righteous. The Bible said the eye of the Lord is upon the righteous. And so Jehoshaphat was able to stand and say that the battle is of the Lord. If you live according to the will of God, you don't need to fight this battle. Yeah, you don't need to. The Lord will fight for you. That is why the Bible says, "They that are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God." Allow yourself for the Spirit of God to lead you. He that dig a pit shall fall into, and whosoever break a hedge will be bitten by a serpent. <laughs> the, the, the enemy, the Lord, is behind you. you. And so whoever plans evil against your life, the Lord will destroy. Onya me be say won. Baba, onya me be say what time for? Onya me ni won won ni oko be ko. E urade be ma nko nim die. E urade be ma nko nim die. Die wo ye nyina mu. Ko so to ana mo urade mu. Continue to serve the Lord and be faithful unto the Lord. Job 8 and the verse 22 said that they that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. Those that hate you they shall be clothed with shame. The, the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to nothing. The dwelling place of the wicked shall come to nothing. 
He said that a wicked man is somebody who has no respect or disregard justice, truth, righteousness. They don't have regard for anything of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's consider the first indication. The first indication of a wicked man or a woman or somebody who have an evil heart. They have evil heart. Before we go, let's read Jeremiah chapter 23. Jeremiah 23 and the verse 14. Sorry, 23 and the verse 14. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 24 and the verse. Uh, sorry, Jeremiah 23 and the verse. The verse 14. 23 and the verse 14. He said, I have seen also in the prophets. Of Jerusalem, a horrible thing. It was God who was talking. Many of our, many of our, men pipe bomb on and say, "Nyami be biwani." When we talk about indicators or indications, something that when you see in a person, you know that that person have evil heart, and all they are wicked, and they are planning for this to destroy. O nyami biwani na hunu wa kwai, hunu wa kwai na po wa kwai. Jeremiah 23 and verse 14 says, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing that they commit adultery and they walk in lies. It was God who was talking through the prophet Jeremiah that God said, I have seen one, one thing <laughs> and it is so going on, a common thing in, the, in, the, in uh, that the prophets of our days, most of them, not all of them, but majority of them, their ways are the same. Wickedness. I pray. 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 I and, uh, and call himself a prophet of a nation. Shame, 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 shame. Go back. They have to go back and uh, revisit the Bible and read the word of God. Read the word of God. See, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery. They walk in lies. <laughs> they strengthen also the hands of evildoers. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. That none do return from his wickedness. They also, they are, they all of them, I say, 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 it says, they are all of them unto me, as Sodom, and inhabitants thereof of Gomorrah. Therefore, that says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophet, behold, I will feed thee, them with wormwood and make the drinks of water a gale. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profane gone forth into the land. Their profane and their life has gone forth into the land. The indication of a wicked man or a wicked woman. Some of the things, the, fir the first thing that you see, that you see is that these evil or the wicked men, <laughs> are, are they create confusion and contention. They every day, they create co confusion. And they make sleep, they twist the fact, they make sleep, they lie, they avoid talking, taking responsibility. They deny reality and make up stories and withhold information. <laughs> you go into the Bible, you see that <laughs> through prophets, they don't bring confusion. Their God will send them, a true man of God, somebody who has been sent by God, preach the truth of God. Many of our Abarama, and who knew my bio, and Nipatri Modin for Na sorry, na summa radi. Sorry, na summa radi. Na yen ya mia pedi. I have many scriptures, but we cannot go through all the scriptures. <laughs> See that they bring confusion. They bring confusion and contention. And so they will tell you they are of God. But you see their ways and you see everything. You see everything. The Bible says in the same year, Haman was promoted, was promoted. You see, in our days, 
na ohunu yemri mu se tene no de fo wo nko a na nko so ene ade ba nenso e ba for their own good and to destroy i pray in the name of jesus christ the second indication of an evil heart or wicked man is that the fool others always they have they, you see them fooling others they talk they think that they are smart they, 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 they fool others with their smooth speech and flattery words they have words they have words to convince put fear in on you when they put fear on you then you will think that that it says then they have their way they have their way you can read psalm 50 verse 19 52 verse 2 57 verse 4 and proverbs 12 and the verse 5 one has to run through so that we can the third thing on the cake in about the evil man or the wicked is that they crave or they demand and control they will always want to be in the highest position they will always want to lead self-reverence they exalt themselves we will see all these things in Haman. we will see these things in Haman and how Haman fell the wicked shall fall when your enemies your foe when they rise up against you the bible said they will stumble and fall whoever dig a pit will fall in the bible says for the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal my brother my sister he says it is mighty the weapons are mighty through god to the pulling down of every struggle abide in the lord well if you do abide in the lord and the word of god abide in you victory will be yours there is no good end for for the unrighteous the bible said the end of the righteous shall be peace the end of the righteous shall be peace the wicked always want to control they, they, they want to be in a high position. They want everybody to see them. They want to announce themselves. Every place that they go they wants to be announced. And we, we will see this indication in a man called Haman. How Haman. But the end of Haman was very disastrous and very sad. Walking righteousness. If you do walk in righteousness and you do the will of God, heaven will stand tall on you. And my brother, my sister, the Lord will lay a table before you in the presence of your enemies. <laughs> David did not say that <laughs> just for saying sake, but what he went through. David said that because of the family that he comes in, as a young boy, as, as, as a tender, at his tender age, he was thrown into the forest to go and take care of, 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 of sheep, to shepherd flocks, while the big boys <laughs> were in the house, sitting down and eating once he was in the forest but when the lord the, the time of the lord came the bible says he was anointed before his, his brethren god sought him and brought him out when you are here papa dear me mommy dear me trust trust see where we're doing what would you trust where we're doing and we're doing but when the time of the lord come the lord will lift you up the lord will position you david was brought out and the bible say victory was his the fourth indication or indicator of the evil heart or the wicked man is that they play on goodwill the goodwill people they often trample on their the grace of god they trample on them they always want to be on top and so those who are sympathetic those who have good hearts and those whom the lord has called they always want to trample on them the lord will give you victory the, the wicked shall fall and the faith is that they have no conscience and no remorse <laughs> the wicked has no conscience and they don't have remorse he, people men and women who have, have evil heart they don't have remorse and so if you are working with somebody if you are working with a man a woman who always bring confusion and contention who always wants to be <laughs> wants to be on top <laughs> they always want to be on top Again, it's easy for them to use words 
<laughs> flattery ways to succeed in their ways. <laughs> they always want to trample over you and have no conscience. My brother, my sister, begin to watch. Let's go and see this indication. And we will see this indication in Haman. A man that arose to a position. The Bible says in Esther chapter 3 that in the same year, King Asasros elevated Haman, promoted Haman, and Haman ascended to a position. He advanced him and set him above all the princes that were with him. And so Haman became a leader. And that was, that was the beginning. Yes, so for me, a woman in the Suba in a year, she had a mother of Jessica. She had a mother And so I respect humble men and women whom the Lord has preached, uh, sorry, the Lord has blessed, who are in rich and great position. I respect them, especially those who fear the Lord and walk according and to the word of God. <laughs> Immediately, Haman was promoted. He wants everybody. He wants to be in control. So long as, <laughs> so long as, so long as he was promoted, he wants to be in control. He wants everybody to bow, bow at his word. If you don't bow at his word, meaning that <laughs> you are not, that is one of the indication. That, that indication, he wants to trample over everybody. He wants to be a leader. He wants to control. He wants to be in a high position. And they don't have conscience. The wicked shall fall. The Bible says that they that, that come, the, the wicked, they that hate thee, they will, the Lord will clothe them with shame. The Lord will clothe them with shame. And their dwelling place of the wicked shall come to nothing. It's Job 11 and the verse 20 said, But the eye of the wicked shall fail. The eye, their eyes shall fail. And they shall not escape. And their hopes shall be as the giving up of the ghost. And the light shall be darkened in the tabernacle. And his candle shall be put off the wicked. I don't know who is persecuting you or troubling you, but who is persecuting you? Maybe you, 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 are, you don't abide in the Lord. If you abide in the Lord, my brother, my sister, and the Lord will fight your battle for you. The Lord will fight your battle for you. Onya mebe kungu ama. Tena uradi mo na sume uradi ye. Ni mo na mkuwa wo. Mkuwa. Ani wunipa. Wuhai. Uradi meba mkuwa ni mdi. When. Hema was promoted. He want everybody to bow. But there was one person. That was sitting at the palace. Of the king. The gate. Who did not bow. Hema. Was Mordecai. Mordecai was a Jew. And so, he, he was going according to the word of his religion. And so he said within his heart that he was not going to bow. He was not going to bow. Then Haman became furious. A wicked person always want everybody to bow. Fans will be a dear, Ninian won't cry by Bonu Pritchy, and Yamin Hunu won't mob. Why can't you ask? And so now, so Dinachina will come out. Dinachina will come out. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. They don't have conscience. They don't have conscience. They don't have nothing. <laughs> there is nothing of God in them. Yesterday, I told you the mark of the wicked. The mark of the wicked. <laughs> they are very aggressive. They are very aggressive. And they are very, they are very wicked. They are violent. They are very, very violent. I pray that you will understand and walk away from them. Obiye trimodi ni biya ba me janifri ni chain, janifri ni chain. Oh, 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 ni abada ye, oh ni ni, untir mo adin. Bye bono, kachal se. Oh, oh ni ti biya biya ra oh ni amimu, oh ni ti biya biya oh ni amimu. Boni guru ni pa mo, ni mo mo. Ba biya boni be guru biya no. Uh, eh, eh, oh, eh, oh.
Haman decided not only to destroy, not only to destroy Mordecai, but to destroy entire, entire people, entire Jewish. He decided to destroy all the entire people of 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 Israel. Let me go and read Esther chapters three and the verses. Verse says that, and when Haman saw that Mordecai bound not, nor did he reverence, then was Haman full of wrath, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had shown him the people of Mordecai, wherefore Haman sought to destroy all Jewish that were throughout the whole kingdom of Assasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. He wanted to destroy everybody. One of the things is that the wicked don't have conscience. And when he wants to destroy you, he wants to destroy the family. They don't think about your children. They don't think about your children. They don't think about your husband or your wife. They don't think about it. All they want is their way. All they want. And I understand before somebody will, will come after you, meaning that you have something that the person do not have. It causes heaviness in their heart. It causes jealousy in their heart. They want to be on top. They want to have what you have. They don't have what you have. Woman, they are one who need. And they decide to come after you. But the wicked is your foes. When they rise up against you to eat your flesh, the Bible said they will stumble and they will fall. Nothing of the enemy can affect you because the Lord, if God be with you, who can be against you? Nehemiah and his men the enemy decided to destroy them. I don't know who wants to destroy you and your family. <laughs> Go before God. May the Lord bring confusion among your enemies. May the Lord rise against your enemy and destroy. The psalmist said, let God arise and our enemies be scattered. Let God arise and our enemies be scattered. Let God arise and our enemies be scattered. Let God arise and the enemy be scattered. Let God, let God. Oh, I mean, sorry, now I'm time for more. I'm time for it. I will hear now, Radi Jesus Christ, or Dimo. Or if I would hear me, mommy, to me, well, Radimo. Well, be any one more, well, dear Radi, cheer, well, Dim Kugu. Isaiah 61 and the verse 7 says that in the midst of your disgrace, in the midst of your shame, God will give you double honor. And Fahoni and Mbuas, your child will share well, won't want to hear our brabum. And Fahoni and Samuel will become a moon and when you are made by Mawa and a new Yama Daddy. When you are made by Sabe, I guess you also. Mordecai, and I, why, yeah, and near my Biama, Ama, or Hilen of Kura Refi, who be a refino. Nancy, Mana, what time for the sorrow was on, Mana, what time for the sorrow was on, when you are in I was listening to Chastali. You're preaching on adversity, and he said, Not all adversity are bad, not every adversity, not all troubles are bad. There are some that are very good, it leads us to be closer and have a relationship with God. And some adversity brings you to God, some adversity will lead you <laughs> onto your promised land, it will bring the promise of God to pass. I thought that what upon me, and you saw upon your phone. And my near my beer, that some of the things that God has planned concerning your life, it will push you onto your throne. It will push you onto your throne. Yeah. And so Mordecai Haman thought he was going to destroy. And he went to the king. He went to the king and received permission. <laughs> Esther chapter 3 and the verse 8. Haman said to King Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered abroad. <laughs> Despair among the people in all the province of the kingdom. Their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's law. Therefore, it is not for the king to profit to suffer. If it pleases the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. I will pay 10,000 talents of silver into the hands of of those that have the charge of the business and bring it into the king's treasury. The king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Matador. 
and the Akais and the enemy. My brother, my sister, if the wicked wants to destroy, he always wants to win the heart of a king or a queen in your life. The heart of a queen or the king in your life. There are many people I, have, I every day say, listen to me, man of God. Listen to me, somebody. I have never seen enemies getting married. I have never seen enemy mean who at times I have never seen. <laughs> if if they are enemies, then they will stand in the box boxing ring <laughs> and fight. But they will well, every wedding that I have attended, including mine, you see smiles in their face. But the sad aspect of it is that they forget that God was a witness between them. God was the witness, and so instead of praying, nobody will pray. <laughs> Evil has failed. And so the enemy will try as much as possible to win the heart of one. Immediately the enemy will begin to win the heart of one. And that is it. That is it. Every time that the enemy wants to destroy, he always wants to look for someone and win the heart. And so if he, he is able to hold the heart of your queen, he has finished you. He is able to hold the heart of your king, he has, he has finished you. But the Lord is always on the side. The Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? The wicked. <laughs> we are talking about the end of the wicked. There is no place for the wicked. Psalm 1 and the verse 4 says they are like chaff before the wind. They are like chaff before the wicked. Wind. There is no place for the wicked. They shall stumble and fall. Live righteously. Many about many about nyamimus. Abide in the Lord. God bless you. My sister Anita, God bless you. Somebody abide in the Lord. There is a protection for the righteous. David said, The Lord is my shepherd. Because if God is shepherding you, he ended up, uh, he ended by saying, I shall not want. There is no want for, for the righteous. The Bible says in Isaiah, uh, sorry, Psalm 34 and the verse 6, say, Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. There is no want, want for them that fears the Lord. Even though the young lion do suffer <laughs> hunger and suffer, <laughs> but they that seek the Lord shall want nothing good. James 1 and the verse 17 says that every good and perfect gift is from above. Abide in the Lord. <laughs> You find fulfillment in the Lord. The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. There is no, not, no good end for the unrighteous. The wicked shall perish. They shall perish. The Bible says the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and a cedar in Lebanon with the Lord living righteousness. Haman, Haman, he received a letter. Receive every he, he had every help to destroy to destroy the people of God. But let me tell you, the Bible said they that know your God, my brother, my sister, many people are falling apart, many people are dying, many people are losing this battle of the Lord because they have a form of godliness, but they have denied the power thereof, they have denied the power. The Bible says, greater is he that is in us than the one that is in the, in the world. If you have forgotten, read Isaiah 54 verse 17. It says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, the Lord said, will be condemned. If you have the Lord, if you know the Lord, in this life you will never be defeated. If you walk in righteousness, heaven will protect you. The Bible says, for the eye of the Lord, the eye of the Lord ran to and fro, seeking somebody to protect. God wants somebody, a righteous man, a righteous woman to boast of. Are you righteous? They that know their God, they shall. The Bible says they will be strong and they begin to do exploits. <laughs> God through Paul said it in Ephesians 6 and verse 10. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. There is power in the Lord. Dear he and his soul, you be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. In this life you win. The Bible says when Mordecai heard the letters that were sent out, all that Mordecai did, rented his clothes and started crying. Started crying. Mordecai was a Jewish, but he forgot the way of the Lord. I always walk with people, walk with people. Surround yourself with people who will remind you that there is power. Surround yourself with people who, who can remind you that God will do it. 
Minya ma nkrofon wo wa wo ni onante wo beti bi di wakwa urade ni mu wo wa wo ha mu be kai wo se tumi wa urade mu wo be kai wo se tumi wa urade mu ene ni onante ene onante ene wo bi ha de bi o beti se party ko se yenko ni yenko ji ene yenko yenko no mun sa yenko yenko bo wi ase abra bo no wa ma wa ma wa beti so ko bo kwan to ha bo ma na to ani na be de bi we to yenke wo bu afu there are people when they hear the true word of god they get angry <laughs> there is an end to everything. On this side, there is an end. Whether you like it or not, your end will come. <laughs> the end will come. If you see that the, 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 the leading or taking somebody to the cemetery, you think that person is stupid. You think that that person did not have any conscience. His or her time has come. Your time will come. And every day tell you we are in the line. Your time will come. There is no pride. <laughs> there is no no man powerful. There is no man rich. There is no man who has control over over death. <laughs> In the Bible, it was only one man that was able to change it, and he changed it through the hand of God. It was Hezekiah. He changed it through prayer when his days of the, the death got closer to him. The Bible said Mordecai was crying. Somebody went and told Esther, and Esther sent a message. And you know, ask Mordecai. Mordecai said to Esther, Don't think that you have come to the, the kingdom as a time as this. My brother, my sister, you don't know the reason why God has called you. Minya, Papa, tell me, when you are a fraud, but I've been to you. We are Simu, a crew. Mon Samu, a Juma, my Christ to 41. Christ to 81. You don't have any mind. You don't see what is going on. It is time to pray. It is time to increase your prayer. It is time to get more closer to God. It is time to worship God in spirit and in truth. He's ever ready. And he's always looking for people who hurt. The Bible says that all that Esther told Mordecai, let's, let's go and read Esther chapter 3 and 4 and the verse 14 and 15. Verse 14, Kodayan 14. And it says, And they told Mordecai Esther's word. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house. More than all the Jews, for if thou art together hold thy peace at that time, at this time, then shall uh, there be an enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's household shall be destroyed. Who knoweth whether thou have come to the kingdom such a time as this? Media, about Yemen, Ubi and Nundi and Tia, Samre Tise, Radia Fro. We are ready for time now. I every day say, if the devil through one person can destroy a family, God through you can can lift up the family and build the family. Stand up, a child of God. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He soldiers of the cross and lift his banner up. Lift the banner. Let them not the banner suffer loss. From victory unto victory. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Esther returned to Mordecai this answer. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shechem and fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days, night, night a day. I also and my medians, we will fast likewise. So will I go unto the king, which is not according to the law. If I perish, I perish. If I perish, I perish. I am preaching about the wicked shall fall. The wicked man, the wicked woman, every wicked heart, heart do not have any place in the Lord. There are indications. Who 
won't him now. Now, Pentecost and you might too. Would you tell what mommy won't him? Say, if the, the fire of God is burning in you, if the presence of God abides with you, who can, can destroy you? If God be for you, if God be for you, who can be against you? Now, we need our own Yes, Esther knew the way to the Lord. Esther knew where to tap the power of God <laughs> and bring the enemy to nothing. Bring the enemy to nothing. The Bible said the time was not yet for Esther to go before the king. But do you know that prayer brings <laughs> down everything? I every day tell you, if you don't pray through, you cannot break through. Do you hear me? If you don't pray through, you cannot break through. There are many people that don't. There is a song that I started singing. It said, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. All because we do not carry, carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall off it. Oh, what needless pain we bear. We bear needless pain because we do not carry to God in prayer. Esther knew it. And so the time was not yet. But God gave Esther the way. Immediately she got to the, the king lifted his eyes and saw Esther standing there. Then he, he pointed the scepter on Esther. And Esther went, My brother, my sister, God will make a way where there is no way. The Bible says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. I will make a way in, in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God bless you. Papa, Nana, Ajimai, Papa, Yamishrao, Yamishrao, for what you are doing for us. Uh, sharing our messages and everything. We appreciate you. God bless you. And the time was not yet for Esther, but God opened the way. He makes a way where there is no way. And Esther had a favor before, before, before the king. My brother, my sister, the mark of the wicked, the mark of the wicked, they are very violent. They don't have remorse. They don't have conscience. They don't have conscience. They destroy. <laughs> but their end, the end, they shall fall. Trimodim ni bia ni chafa we radimu. Bia ni trimodim o bia boni eurano. Bia ra o ni chafa we radimu. Hey, just Jezebel was a wicked woman, but the Bible says at the end of her life, it was dogs that lick her blood. Let's see how Haman decided to destroy the children of God. But the children of God, they didn't know. They didn't know the way to the Lord. Many of them don't even know the way to the Lord. They don't even know the way to the Lord. They don't even know Genesis Revelation. Genesis Revelation. You find salvation for you. So in this life you win. You win. You win. There are some people they were put in fire. But yet fire could not consume them. The Bible says Elijah was a human being with the same passion. But he was able to hold the heavens for three and a half years. You can do it, woman. You can do it. Don't sit down for that sickness to overcome you and empower you. <laughs> you see, I always said there are many Christians they are lazy. They want somebody to pray for them. They want somebody. What they're supposed to do, they don't want anybody. When you read James chapter 5 and the verse 13, he said, Is anybody among you afflicted, trouble? Let him or her pray. Pray. And so you have to do the praying, but you are waiting for a man of God to pray for you. And so you, you, you sit down. You, you will sit down until you destroy. You will sit down until you destroy. You will sit down until you destroy. I pray that, that somebody, uh, you will stand up, stand up and begin to do the right thing. Because there is no end for the righteous. The righteous, uh, sorry, there is no end for the unrighteous. The wicked shall perish. The Bible says they, 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 they are like chaff before the wind. They are like chaff before the wind. The end of the righteous is, <laughs> is like, the Bible says they are like palm tree. They flourish. The Lord says, Him and plan to kill them. And so, when Esther went to the house, uh, the palace, the Bible says Esther had favor and uh, Esther invited the king and Haman. Let's see. When, when Haman heard that 
He was invited to a banquet. The, a banquet. Let's see how he reacted. Minya, we be at the time of day. Be at the time of day. They be a person in the young one. We only abide at that. They don't have conscience. They don't have conscience. They don't have conscience. They have words. They always they want, they want to be on top. They don't regard anything. All they are seeking for is they are selfish. But the end of it, their end is very disastrous. <laughs> they take a pit and they fall in it, as the word of God has said. <laughs> it said that when when Haman was coming out of the the, the, the call. He still saw Mordecai sitting down and he got angry. Walk with people who can give you good advice. Walk with people who can tell you, let's go to the house of God. Don't walk with somebody who, can, who will advise you. Leave your husband or leave your wife. Leave your children. Many will be sat in and what you are three more for. What you three more for. I pray that you will surround yourself with people who are filled with the word of God. When Haman went home, let's see. Let's see how Haman was advised. The Bible says that when he went home, Esther chapter 5 and verse 9, then when Haman fought that day joy and with glad heart, but when he saw Mordecai in the king's gate, that he stood not up nor moved for him, he was full of indignation against Mordecai. Nevertheless, Haman refrained himself and when he came home, he sent and called his friends and Zerath, his wife. His call, he went and called them and told them what he saw at the palace of the gate. What he saw. He, what he saw at the palace of the king's gate. My brother, my sister, the end of the wicked is very disastrous. The wicked <laughs> will perish. Don't live a wicked life. Don't live a sinful life. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. There is always a bad end for the wicked. The Lord has a place for the righteous. The righteous are going to heaven, and the unrighteous, the place for them is hell. Because the Bible has said it. God says, those that do not bear fruit, he will gather them and burn them. There is an end. There is an end. My brother, there is an end. Walk righteously. Surround yourself with people that will inspire you to do great things. Surround yourself with people who advise you <laughs> that you be promoted. That will bring God into your situation. Don't walk with people that will, will, who always want to destroy you. Haman went home and called his friends and their wife and told them, told them what, what was going on. <laughs> if it was a good wife, Will tell you, honey, don't mind that man. Continued, but this was a situation. The wife and the friends, <laughs> his friends, said unto him, "Build, let a gallow be built." And they showed, they showed, they showed him the height, fifty cubits height. And that tomorrow, speak unto the king that Mordecai may be hung on there. But he did not know that Mordecai has presented his case before the Lord. Read Matthew 11 and the verse 28. He says, everybody who is heavily laden has carried his burden. Come to the Lord and the Lord will give you rest. Mordecai has summoned his situation unto the Lord. Mordecai and Esther have reported the case. Report your case to the Lord. Report the wicked to the Lord. Go before God and make your case against the enemy. Do you remember when Senekarab and his men went against and fought against Hezekiah? Hezekiah went before God and reported the case. Do you know what happened? Go and read Isaiah 38. Or go and read 1 Chronicles 32. The Bible says God sent one angel. One angel. God sent one angel and went into the camp of Senekarab. And destroy 180,000 soldiers. 180,000. I don't know that your enemies will amount to that. There is no end for the wicked. The end of the wicked is like a chaff. My brother, my sister, stand up. Stand up in the power of God and do the will of God. Pray. 
Because you don't want to pray. You don't want to pray. You don't want to do the right thing. And so you think that with money you can buy anything from the kingdom of God. What can I say? There be a now who feel as a suffer with one cause of all. No, I shall come. Shall come no jarrow. Jarrow with a don't you hear? No, don't to TV and Monantimo. Now, dear children, you dear children, dear children, other voice has an assessor. If somebody was able to pray for the Lord to open the doors unto, unto him or her, you can also pray and receive a miracle. Me one on a bomb be one on a bomb pie. So good, so God will change your situation. It is possible. <laughs> there is nothing impossible before God. I always remember when we were in the secondary school, a friend of mine, he were free here. The song that he likes to sing every day, he was free will be singing. Nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for him. This boy will be singing every day. I did be around here, be no, not to. I remember him for that at the days of our secondary school. At the days of our secondary school, and it sank into my spirit. My brother, my sister, be be anywhere, we are in Timinye. Christ, when you are with him, be be anywhere, we are in Timinye. Unya wagya sa ba bompaye. Upe diya go, upe diya go. We be bompaye ma. We diya fa usika ko, oso fa no ha. We do usika ko ma. Nene yere, oma we na ma kesi no oma da. Here ya no ha, oh ya bompaye ma ye jine mu ma. Oh, we jine ne mu ma. You don't stand up. And pray. Nobody can pray better for you than praying for yourself. Let me tell you. <laughs> there is a prayer of intercession that helps. But if if the person is interceding for you and you are not ready, it, it's not going to work. Well, even when the grace come, when it sought you and find you, <laughs> how can you sustain that blessing? So what's up for the and that's a a kind of BMO. No one can say when you're paying for a bed, then what you are sustaining. The enemy will bulldoze you. Will come and crush you. Learn how to pray. Be a prayerful man. Be a prayerful woman. In this life, you win. Woman, you win. Say a real and found cool woman. You win. <laughs> I say you win. God bless you. I'm going to. God bless you, Samuel. God bless you, Papa. <laughs> God will give you victory on every other side. God will give you victory. He will give you victory on every other side. The Bible says that the king has forgotten about Mordecai. But the Lord has his way. But you are Hey, if you have forgotten, go and read. First Samuel chapter 1 and the verse 19. The Bible said the Lord remembered Hannah when you make Kai Hannah. When you make Kai, at the chamber of the God will remember you if you become faithful to the Lord. God will definitely remember you. Hey, me say, TME, yeah, about TME, mommy TME. If you walk righteously and you do the will of God, one morning God will remember you. When you make Hannah, when you make Pensho, if you don't know, when you make Pensho, when you make Pensho, Hey God, he says, I am the God of all flesh. I do not share my glory with anyone. And he, when his time comes, he will prove himself. It does not matter how many enemies have surrounded you. Let them talk. Let them talk. If you have forgotten, go and read John 8. The woman that was presented before Jesus Christ. The, the, the accusers, the Bible said there were many. All they wanted that the woman would be stoned. But when the woman met Jesus... The Bible says when Jesus bowed his head down, his head down, and said, Whoever have not sinned, let him cast the first stone. By the time Jesus lifted his head, everybody has gone. Hey, God will bring disgrace. David said that the Lord will lay a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Your cup will run over. There is no end. For the wicked. The Bible said the king was sleeping in the night. Have forgotten. Then the Holy Spirit remembered him. That in his days. Somebody did something good. That was not rewarded. I didn't deny. Somebody at this Because Esther has taken Mordecai to the throne of God. By fasting and praying. By fasting and praying. And so the Lord was ever ready to act on their behalf. God is ever ready. And God will act on your behalf. He will act speedily. God will act speedily. 
pray. Elijah told them there was a sound of abundant rain. But what Elijah did was he climbed the mountain and prayed. The Bible says seven times he sent, he sent his servant to go and look whether rain was coming. And Mordecai, sorry, Elijah did not tell Ahab just to run. He, he told him there was coming rain. God has God told Elijah to go and tell them that there was rain, but he has to force the rain now. My brother, my sister, when it comes to a time in life, you have to provoke your rain. You have to provoke it. You have to bring it down. I was all my when they bring. Yes, you the kinds of swine in your family, and I would do one one, or two one one, or two one one, and I'll tell one one out and grow. You are sitting now watching that people will pray for you. You sit down, put their transing, put their transing, put their transing. You live to regret because it's of a grand thing and a great lament. Go before God in the spirit and in the power of the Holy Ghost. Take what belongs to you. They have to force God into the situation. They have to bring God into the situation by fasting and praying. And God did. <laughs> the king sent for the books of the record and brought in the sword that was Mordecai. When the king was thinking about it, <laughs> him and God there. And the, the king asked, if somebody did something for the king, what, how sh the person should be rewarded? How the person should be rewarded? And Haman thought he was the one that was going to re be rewarded. Started saying big things. God, your testimony will bring people. <laughs> and people will cry. Your testimony will, will bring tears to people and they will know that God when you is working, everything is working together for your good. Just be attentive and abide in the Lord. Stay in the Lord. Your time will come. Your day of glory will come. As the Lord has promised, your time will come. He is faithful. He has never lied. The wicked has no place. The Bible says that Haman asked the king for the man whom the king delights to honor her. Let a royal emperor be brought, which the king uses to wear, and the horse that the king rides. And let that royal emperor be brought, which the king uses and wear, and the horses and the king riders upon, and the crown royals which is set upon his head. And let the emperor and the horse be delivered to, to the hands of one of the king's most noble prince, that they may arraign the man whilst whom the king delights to honor. <laughs> and so Haman did not know uh, somebody that he has built a gallow, somebody he wants to destroy that the Lord wants to honor. <laughs> he did not know that somebody that he has purpose within his heart that the, the wicked has no end, their end is very disastrous, their end is very, very uh, uh, detestable and something that need not to be talked about. And in Guaseo Homa Utrimodinfo, be at the Trimodio in Guaseo Homa, when you remember when you yam, Timurademo. Abide in the Lord. Abide in the Lord. And so and so he he went. The Bible says that that the king the king told told the king said to Haman, make haste and take the apron and the horse, as thou hast said, and do even as so to Mordecai the Jews that sit on at the gates. Let nothing fail of all that I have spoken. Esther chapter six and the verse ten. Somebody who was planning, my brother, my sister, the Bible never lies. The word of God is true. That your enemies, your fool, they will come up against you to eat your flesh. The Bible said they will stumble and they will fall. Abide in the Lord. Abide in the Lord. When you abide in the Lord, the Lord will, will crown you. The glory will surround you. You will break through. He will set upon your throne that God has prepared for you. There is no want for those who seek the Lord. There is no want. The Bible said the Lord delights <laughs> in a, a broken heart. A contrite spirit, the Lord never forsake. Come to the Lord with a broken heart. You see the glory of God. Mordecai, <laughs> who, who was sitting at the gate by prayer, <laughs> they started arranging <laughs> for him that he will sit on the king's horse. He will wear the apron of the king. The crown of the king will be put over his head. And he will, they will walk him throughout the city. They walked him throughout the city. Hey, from nowhere to somewhere. 
from nowhere. The, 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 let me go and read something. Something in Second uh, First Samuel, First Samuel chapter two, First Samuel chapter two. Uh, let's 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 hear what 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 Hannah Hannah said in some sorry First Samuel two and the verse eight. First Samuel chapter two and the verse eight. Here he said he rises the poor out of the dust. Lift up the beggar from a dank hill to set them among princes, to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the laws, and he set the world upon them. This is what is for you, the righteous. The Lord will do it. I say the Lord will do it. Our God never fails. Your time of glory will come. Be patient with the Lord. Except you don't, you want your own way. Well, if you want your own way, but remember the Bible said there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is death. Don't let anybody talk you out of the way. Don't let anybody lead you out of the way of the Lord. There is only one way, and that way is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go and see. <laughs> His own advices. Who advised him to go and build the gallows? <laughs> when he went and reported what has happened, what has happened? Uh, Esther chapter five and the verse uh, five and the verse fourteen. Then said, his, uh, uh, said Zira his wife and all his friends unto him, let the gallows. Uh, sorry, uh, it says that. It says that. It says that. Uh, well, um, it says that. Verse ten. He said that. Oh, let me go. Sorry, I was reading verse six, verse sixteen, and the verse thirteen. Sorry, Esther six and the verse thirteen. He says, and Haman told Zira, his wife, and all his friends everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men and the wife Zira, if Mordecai being the seed of a Jew, before whom thou had begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but surely falling before him, you will surely fall. Anyhow. Christo ni mapa a ube ma uya si edu so atam for edu so no. Now there is something wrong with your Christianity. How be ba? First Corinthians ten in the verse thirteen was your. There is no temptation. God will allow it. But when God allows it, He knows that through that you will be promoted. Through that you will sit upon your throne. And that, that is why the Bible says everything works together for good for those who love the Lord and those who are called according to His purpose. Ma weni na wana mana Christo ni. But at the end of the day, let me read. Esther chapter 7 and the verse 10 says, So they hung Haman on the gallows that he has prepared for Mordecai. And that was the king's. And Mordecai <laughs> sit upon the horse. But Haman, the gallows that Haman prepared, the Bible says Haman was hanged on. Why? And they went to the banquet and Esther revealed that somebody wants to destroy. Then it was asked, Who? And say Haman. The king got furious and went out. The king came back. Haman was going to plead to the queen and fall on the queen. The, uh, the king came and thought that Haman wanted to sleep with the wife before his face. That's what we do. And then, you know, the, uh, one of the king, one of them, he said, verse 9, Esther 7, verse 9, and Habona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king behold also the gallows 50 cubic height which Haman has made for Mordecai who he speak good of for the king standing in the house of Haman then the king said hang him on upon a and no wonder the Ecclesiastes 10 and the verse 8 whoever dig a pit will fall in David Bumpire some 35 fights against them that fight against them. Biara, what bomb in a Biara or Radiman in Tom will be a pew and go as you be a pew say, or be on pew yen on Yamimo and Jenna to go on so. Send your Mordecaia a goo or no ana minimum and an abanso on Yamimo Wan Casanto. I did be our two or one on Yamimo Wan Casan when Yamimo and you know what? Kai said so for granted, say, and the Chevy will only Yamian Union. Tell us where Radimo, Dora. Abide with the Lord. Do already. 
There is an end, a good end for the righteous. God bless you. We want to go and take our course. Our time is fast, man. But we will take our course. But before we take our course, we never end our broadcast without giving you opportunity to accept Christ as your personal savior. Yeah. We want you to, to come to the loss, especially those who have never accepted Christ as their personal savior. There is no other way. There is no other way. The only way is Jesus Christ. The only way is Jesus Christ. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today, then you mention your name. I, Alizi or Ajua, I accept you as my Lord and personal savior. Father, your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things have passed and everything has become new. As I have accepted you and come to you, may you lead me and guide me until you come or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. I may find a church. If you live in, around Houston, Texas and you don't have a church, thank God, God has started a church through us. It is a church that fears the lord come and join us you call us we will show you my number is 571-722-8608 again my number is 571-722-8608 oh my, my brother dear he is 713-202-1147 713-202-1147 call us and come and let's worship together god bless you we we'll see you the same time tomorrow uh, let's go and take our calls but just